Hey y'all, Tehan141 here, and today we are going to look at how we do off-grid refrigeration. Uh, there are many different options, and I think you just might be surprised at how modern you can do off-grid refrigeration. Hey y'all, it's Tehan141. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell and choose all so that you'll see every time we come out with new content, you'll get notified. All right, off-grid refrigeration. Guys, we have studied this thing to death. The best actual uh, off-grid refrigerator that I've seen, a uh, chest freezer, that they punched holes in the bottom and put it in a creek and that water went through and it kept the temperature pretty steady at 40 degrees uh, which is about perfect uh, that was down south um, we did as you'll see up here um, try a freezer for the winter we figured hey it's cold out when you're down below freezing all the time why not go ahead and do the off-grid refrigeration with a freezer. It didn't work quite the way we wanted to. Yes, your stuff would be frozen, but if you got two or three days of warm weather, it turned into more of a refrigerator, um, and stuff started to thaw. Um, and, you know, I'm not a big advocate of global warming. We are there is climate change. I am not a climate change denier. The Bible says the seasons will change, and that could be taken that way. Um, but I just don't adhere to the catastrophic human-caused uh, climate change that is going to destroy the earth completely. Uh, I know how the earth ends, and that ain't it, even though some of the things could be caused by that. But, I digress. So, off-grid refrigeration. Do you need refrigeration? Think about it. Mm, yes. I live in the 21st century, and there are conveniences that I really like. And one of those conveniences is refrigeration. Uh, to be able to buy food and keep it for longer than a couple days. And really, in this day and age, there's no reason to do without some sort of refrigeration. Now, there's many different ways. Root cellars. Root cellars are awesome. I want a root cellar so bad it hurts. The reason we don't have a root cellar here on the homestead is because we have a very high water table. And with that high water table comes, you know... I would have to waterproof it. We also are very bumpy but flat. There's not really a side of a hill we can we can dig it into. Um, there are plans in the works uh, for one day after we get everything else that's on the list up above it um, done. There is a plan in the works one day for some form of root cellar. Could you hold on just one second? This is driving me batty. It's what in the world? It's backed up there crooked. Anyway, <laughs> I guess it's gonna stay crooked. Um so the Amish do ice houses and they work very well. Now, you can have the Amish build you an ice house. It's going to cost money because they really do a good job and they really um, insulate them well so that all throughout the summer, that ice house is going to hold ice. And you can also put stuff that needs refrigerated in the ice house. Problem being, I am not the type of person that likes to play around on the ice in the winter, and if you're not going to go with a chainsaw or a 
buck saw and actually cut the ice out off of your ponds or your lakes, it just isn't going to pan out. So an ice house is an option for you. Um, there are people, uh, the old timers uh, used to take and they would have a well, a dug well, and it would be three, four foot around, and they would build a basket that would go down in the well. Um, now this is in the age of pumps so that they didn't have to move the basket to draw the bucket up all the time. But you could put that, put a basket down a well and put your uh, items that needed refrigeration down there. The way we do refrigeration on T Ham 141 Homestead is simply a propane refrigerator. A propane refrigerator, it was an investment that we made. Uh, I believe it cost us around $2,500. And yes, that's a lot of money. But boy, when we didn't have to worry, not having to worry about our oh wow it's 40 degrees out is you know we got to clean that freezer out before all that stuff thaws um, we also have a small chest freezer at my brother's house in the basement however i don't like having my provisions off site uh, but when you butcher a pig you got to have some place to put it and our little freezer isn't going to hold that uh, plus, we need it for all the other goodies we get. I like ice cream once in a while. Um, we use propane. One reason is we have a propane stove, a cook stove with an oven. Um, it's just a simple thing. We are going to upgrade soon off of a pilot light. I've always wanted pilot lights in my stoves because you didn't need electricity to uh start your stove apparently you don't they've got them now where you don't need they have probably for about the last 50 years where you don't need the uh electricity to start your propane stove or oven but i believe we'll save about 300 dollars in propane uh, by switching to a non-pilot light system on our stove. Um, we also have propane for hot water. Our hot water system is uh, a cheap little on-demand hot water heater that was made for showers, and it works actually quite well. Um, it will burn you. <laughs> um, and that's what I like. I like nice hot showers. Um, but that runs off a propane cylinder um, that I get locally filled here. I uh, We do not have people come to fill our propane tanks. We take it to them. Um, now, we are still off the grid um, with, with our refrigerator with our refrigeration and with our cooking. Um, there are no um, public utilities being used here at all. Um, see my video on what is off-grid. I'll put a little i-card right up here. Um, go ahead and click that. Um, and I take the tanks down to fill. Now it's as simple as that. So that is our off-grid refrigeration. Guys, if you like this video, if you got any worth, I will put the links down uh, below for the refrigerator uh, and for um, the hot water heater. Um, I'll put the links down below so that you can check them out. I do not have affiliate marketing right now. Uh, I'm going to wait uh, for a while, so uh, this is this is not me trying to make money off you. This is just me trying to give you the information that you need so you can check this stuff out. Because 
You don't want to live in the 21st century without refrigeration. I just don't see any reason for it whatsoever. All right, guys, this is Tham141 saying, stay cool. You guys have a great day. God bless.